finally seniors, and honestly, I think we're doing pretty great. It's an end of an era, can you believe it? Yep, truly, yeah, truly an end of an era. And I know you guys have played the game more times than you care to count, never have I ever, but what is the one thing that you guys have been able to do that you never would imagine as a result of doing this show? Ooh, that's a good one, that's a good one. That's a good one. And I met Mindy Kaling, so that's pretty cool. That's, that's a good, good one. Yeah. That's good. That's that's good. Mine's gonna be cheesy, to but it's. I think it's like never have I ever had my wildest dream come true. Aww. I think that would be mine. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said it was gonna be cheesy. You did. Did he you steal did. yours? No, no. No, she's not as cheesy as me. No, I, I'm, I'm a sarcastic guy. I'm, I'm a sarcastic guy. Ooh, that's a oh, good question. A, yeah. Think about that one. Um, never have I ever thought I would be able to meet all the celebrities that I've met because of being on this show. Mm. What's the craziest fan that like, they're a fan of our show? Gosh, I don't even, I can't even start. I, I don't think, know. Uh, maybe Gabrielle Union. Like, oh, wow. I mean, she made like a, a Twitter post about it and I was like, sure. oh my God, yeah, she's yeah. seen my face before? That's all I can think about. <sighs> yeah, so, it's pretty cool. What you up to? You want to go make out by the bleachers? Gen Z is scary. First and foremost, to entertain and have those light moments and have the fun is so great. But I'm sure you've had so many fans and young girls have come up to you and said how impactful that's been yeah. on a personal oh, level. Yeah. I know. Right? And really to show family dynamics, normalize the fact mm -hmm. that immigrant families are multi-generational usually, show the struggle between, uh, you know, mother-daughter, show grief, show, show mental joy. health mental and therapy. Health. Yes. Oh my God, they're so, I, I don't understand how the writers were able to cover so much and put it into like 23 minutes an episode, but uh, it showed everything that we've never spoken of before yeah. and all wrapped within fierce family love. I actually just went to India. I just got back and, you know, we, obviously we've felt the love and, and the impact that it's had on South Asians in this country, but to go there and, and to hear from people living there in, in corners of, of the country, I just never even expected people to watch the show and to see how moved they were by all the characters' journeys and the writing, it's, yes, it, it, it's what you said. It just feels incredibly rewarding. Yeah. You've got to talk to him at some point. What's the deal with you two now? I cannot believe you. I assumed it was like a one-time thing. What's up, Davey? Hey, Paxton. Wait, what? Paxton? If you guys were going to give each other like high school honors, you know, like class clown, most spirited, what would you give each other? What would be your high school honor? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, my tree, I would give hardest working, and Darren, I would oh. give um, okay. most fun to like go on a vacation with. Wow. That, wow. That um. was, I like that. Most knows what she wants. And oh, wow. Okay, I love that. Oh, okay. I love that. <laughs> yeah. And, That's what um, she wants. That's true. I do. Knows what you want and how to get it, right? Mr. Yeah. and uh, Mr. Mr. Dynamite Deltoids. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Dynamite Deltoids. I'll take that. That's going to be my new Instagram handle. Yeah. Yeah. And what would you give you the fellas here? What would be their high school honors? Definitely school spirit, 100%. He That's is like, the biggest cheerleader for his friends, family, and anything he believes in. Oh, he will nice. be <laughs> your biggest cheerleader. So, like, I don't know if it's school spirit or, you know what, the cheerleader. That is uh, you. Okay. Yeah, you, you always ride hard for people. Thank you. And then for Darren, Mr. Humble. Oh, Mr. That's good. Humble. Yeah. That's so nice. Very understated. Doesn't know actually how handsome he is. Doesn't so know handsome. actually how talented he is. So talented. Doesn't realize how kind he can be. <laughs> so kind. And I always have to beat him over the head. You guys are right though. I'm so humble. Yeah. I'll give Lee most likely to succeed because she's uh, an amazing singer and she has an amazing song coming out uh, called Afterthought. Uh, Y'all should check it out. How's it go? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you yeah, something like that. Look at that on the spot. Um, amazing. You are on to Hollywood. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, okay. Um, for Ramona, I would give. Like, what's the word? Like, you know, how, a jack of all trades or something. Wow. Like, she multi -talented? knows. Multi-talented. Yeah, multi-talented. She knows how to do a lot of freaking things. Like, it's insane. I would say <laughs> she'd be most likely to change the world. <gasps> oh my God! I was gonna give you something. <laughs> So pedantic. <laughs> She's a very most stylish. She used the word pedantic just now, I think. Wow, that's a very fancy word. Yeah, that's a that's very fancy word. That's why you're changing the world. See? You have big, that's big exactly. vocabulary changes. She says things like pedantic. <laughs> Okay, yeah. most likely to change the world. I'm most no, talking I'm probably. Too much, too much pressure. It's too much pressure. I never had a high school yearbook. Hold on. Um, most likely. 
possible? Most likely to be not only a source of joy for everyone, but be a model for joy. Ah, oh, wow. A model that of joy? That was pedantic. <laughs> that was pedantic. <laughs>